What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a random matchup uh, against another DWA clan uh, playing with cock and it was a doozy. It absolutely fantastic war. Um, kind of set some rules just because of the randomness of the matchup. Uh, we did have a TH11. They didn't. Uh, so we did set some rules, uh, especially because 2.0, I'd like to announce, is now officially part of the DWA. That just happened over the last couple days. So we are all very excited and happy to be there. Um, really, I think that's just going to open up a lot more avenues for uh, more uh, fair play scrims. Uh, really, we'll have a larger pool of players to choose from, right? When uh, Or players to pull from, I should say, when we need to fill war weights. Uh, just going to make everything easier. Uh, and just we're, uh, we're really excited and uh, happy to be with such an elite group of fair play clans. So uh, that is awesome. But that now that's out of the way, uh, this is going to be a lengthy recap. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to fix my headset there. Uh, this is going to be a lengthy recap. There's a ton of just awesome attacks in here. Uh, wish I could show them all, but unfortunately, I think we're probably end up running 25, 30 minutes <laughs> on this recap as is. Uh, so I'm trying to fit them all in. Uh, as you can see, playing with Cock did uh, take home the victory, 87 to 85. Uh, really, it came down to the last few TH10 triples. Uh, we struggled a little bit. Um, you see they ended up first I would also like to say salty south fence uh, dirty are all all dropped infernos basically just for this war they've only been town hall 10 as long as the update um, Adam also is a town hall 10 and literally has nothing but his town hall 10 uh, I think the I think purple walls too or something I'm not 100 percent sure um, anyhow so not trying to take anything away but uh, all these guys are very new to the town hall 10 game and it is a brand new beast when you get there so you know they uh they brought some really awesome attacks nonetheless and uh gave it the best as you can see like it, it was close it was a really close call just kind of quickly hop into here take a look 27 25 uh for the three star count uh total destruction uh playing with cock had a 1.5 percent uh better total destruction so hats off gentlemen you guys uh, had some really nice bases some even better attacks uh yeah so let's just hop right in here because like i said i got i think seven or eight replays i want to show you um, one thing also, like like I was saying, we, we kind of set some rules. Um, Moose, who's our max 11, uh, was only allowed to use his Grand Warden for one of his attacks. As you can see, they won by two stars, so it wouldn't have mattered um, even if he was allowed to. Uh, but this 84% um, was used without his Grand Warden. Uh, probably could have got the three star, but again, like it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Uh, you know, this base six, we really struggled on. Um, I think we had about six attempts on it, and he is a brand new 10 himself. You know, they got some newer tens as well i'm not 100 percent sure about what was talked about once we matched up and stuff but um i do know they had their share of uh fresh tens as well um so let's just hop right in here let's check out moose's hit uh, this is a bit of a bully <laughs> right this is a town hall 11 hitting a 10 um a fairly new 10 again like i said you know both sides had had a lot of new tens uh but this is my first replay that i've ever shown with a grand warden in it so we're gonna show it <laughs> uh sorry azine <laughs> um no disrespect whatsoever i just kind of really want to show this town hall 11 so uh really just kind of gets a good spread on the golems um couple down on each side getting a huge funnel created getting all that percentage all on the outside jump goes down with some giants as well what i liked about the giants here it's a crucial part of this town hall 11 uh bully strat um because you bring so many witches you need those giants to soak up the multi inferno tower uh hits and then your skeletons aren't going to get uh destroyed as quickly right so you're going to give your skeletons time in to get in there really do some work under that rage look how quickly these buildings are all going down that first multi's down um still has giants left over kind of moving in here it does give him a bit of trouble but that grand warden level 20 grand warden keeps them protected and you'll see kind of at a certain point the the gw pops his ability right when it's just the witches in front of the inferno and it buys them just enough time to take down the inferno you're going to see that happen any second now boom there it is so all those units are protected those witches are standing in there the inferno doesn't stand a chance it goes down those witches are now free to free to do whatever they want that whiz tower on this uh, nine o'clock spot is the only splash damage remaining so there's a mortar there too but um you see these witches just start shredding through all of this stuff. Grand Warden's still in there, giving them protection, right? At two, four, six, eight, seven witches still up there. So, you know, those new max witches are just 
disgustingly good. They did tone him down a little bit, but uh, last flash of damage goes down, does not stand a chance. All those wizards still standing in that Grand Warden ring. Just a just a beasley attack so this is this is how you, you do it guys town hall 11 versus uh versus 10 again sorry azine hope you know take no offense to me showing this hit but um yeah <laughs> that's how she's done right you got to use that grand warden ability keep those witches alive through those multi-target infernos and uh it's gg beautiful nice job moose uh so we did also lose a chunk of the replays to the update. Uh, not too many. We still got a lot to show, so that's a good thing. Um, we're going to check out Logic's hit here on number eight. thought this was a cool attack, this Valk attack. Um, I did want to show this because it does... Um, one thing I, I always worry about with Valk's doesn't happen to Logic here, but I think it could have very easily happened. Um, something that I watch out when I'm planning my Valk attacks that I try and avoid if possible. You can't always avoid it. Um, like in this situation, it just was unavoidable. But I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Uh, golems are down. Funnels created. There's no more buildings on the outside for those Valks. Wall gets opened up. Nice and patient on the wall breakers too. Let's that uh, max distance Tesla pop. And then like I've mentioned in my videos before, the pop, it didn't pop till the wall breaker was in range. But once the it popped, the golem was then technically in range of its attack fire because the popping range and the attack range are different on the Tesla. Um, so let it pop, let it lock on to the golem, then finished off the wall breakers. Good job. Uh, poison goes down. Some witches in this CC kind of surprised us at points, but poison takes care of that like nothing. Boom, 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 boom. See you later, CC troops. Man, the CC is just disheartening these days. There's just It's just almost useless. But here's what I was talking about. See these Valks right there? If they were any closer, I believe, like a step closer to this wall, instead of going backtracking up to this jump, there is an insanely good chance they're going to stand on this wall and try and get to these two buildings here. Um, I've had it happen before. Uh, so awesome that Logic got them to go back up there. They did trigger a bomb, so uh, completely worth it. Uh, see the hogs have gone in, just sprinkled in on all these outer defenses. Uh, heal goes down, takes care of them uh, under that bomb. Kind of an interesting DGB placement there because uh, it was very easily uh, triggered uh, singly. I should say. Um, so heal takes care of that. It does have one more heal for this Arch Queen Chamber. Down it goes. Boom, boom, boom. Wizard Tower is going down. Even this, uh, you know, the Queen is <laughs> still there with the ability. Uh, didn't even need to use that poison. Cleanup Wiz goes down on the outside. It is GG. Nice job. Logic beats. Bringing those trees. Ah. Nice morning coffee. My Christmas Eve recap, too, guys. Merry Christmas, everyone, because this probably will not come out until it, maybe even uh, day after Christmas, as us Canadians know it as Boxing Day. Nice job, Logic. All right, we're just going to drop one more down. JJ is just a insanely good attacker. Uh, Six-star war. A lot of guys had six-star wars in this war, so, uh, you know, really good job. Gentlemen brought some really sexy attacks. Uh I, I had to show nine for JJ because this is actually becoming a very common attack against these anti three star bases. Notice the army comp six dragons. This is actually how my base got three starred on a second hit. Um, it's becoming a lot more common. You use a queen walk or queen charge to ensure that you get one of the air defenses. Um, so you'll see kind of JJ goes ahead and does so creates a funnel uh keeps that queen moving in uh this direction that air defense is in fact targetable uh it's only three spaces out um so she just walks in takes care of that air defense no problem going to continue moving up and notice the spell uh choice right brings a zap quake for one of those uh one another one of those air defense uh goes ahead and brings a, a cold-blooded golem uh, what has he got? I think he's got a Lava Hound in that uh, CC. Um, but, oh, no, I was wrong. <laughs> Goes ahead and brings a uh, Shattered uh, Golem here to t make sure he takes care of that other air defense. Pulls out the CC troops, takes care of that. King's going to go in and whack down this air defense. Queen's going to still kind of hop in here and do work. They end up taking out a big kind of chunk of this base and in come the dragons um, basically just one finger drops all the dragons in this location knows they're just going to bounce in between these buildings work their way right in at that defensive queen 
couple breaths under that raids that queen is dunsies boom down she goes dragons are going to kind of start fanning out now under that rage and really just take care of the rest of this base the drops the earthquake and zapquake now on that remaining or sorry the second remaining air defense and uh, the other thing i liked about that is it was right beside that tesla hell so really left those uh teslas very crippled didn't take them out but you know one shot from the arch queen took them down a couple shots from the dragons will finish it off one two boom boom see that queen in there already doing work on that remaining air defense it is down and when you still have I think three dragons and uh, archer queen under three healers with a golem there tanking the you know there's really only two archer towers and two mortars remaining so gonna fast forward this one a little bit due to the length of recap uh, but you can see this dragon attack with a you can do a queen like if the air defense is not walkable just bring a few wall breakers and make a funnel and bust open the wall and that's that's actually what happened to me um, you know two pronged attack just like just like you just saw okay uh, you know use the queen walk while well, you used a charge takes out the one air defense sends in a small kill squad take out another air defense zap quakes another air defense and funnels the dragons at another air defense um it can be really really effective at, especially at the max town hall nine level like you i would never up until this recent update uh, considered you know six or eight dragons uh being something i needed to defend again as, as town hall nine but it really is now town hall nine is just getting more and more difficult um so as you see okay had a six star war here both first hits right uh lost the replays unfortunately uh sean had a really nice hit here very standard hit is this the one i want to show you yeah, 13. <clears throat> so <laughs> very interesting base uh sean just brings a double jump shatter goho here which i thought was cool um this base is on the borderline, to me at least, of, you know, there's only six compartments. Uh, that is kind of getting cutting her close to the being against the fundamental flaw of having to defend against uh, not necessarily conventional three-star attacks. Uh, but I really do wonder how a Mass Witch or a Go Wipe would do against this base uh, with something like a Double Jump or Earthquake. I mean, this this very the compartments are set up well that you can't Earthquake it, but you can definitely Double Jump it. Um, now this Tesla Hell, I was thinking about a Go Wipe, but this Tesla Hell you'll see in a moment here in the in the core uh, probably would have thwarted a Go Wipe. Um, just because those Pekkas probably uh, might have got roasted, but if you got the Golems in there first, I don't know, man. So a few Pekkas coming in from behind over this Double Jump are gonna shred all these it's only a few point defense and all you know so you bring a few a go white with a few back end hogs even i don't know uh, you know six compartments to me is really low but uh sean just brings you know straight up shattered goho here uh three finger drops and all those point defenses gonna move everything through this one compartment and then into this last compartment got two heels to take care of everything here goes a, a couple bombs here i believe there's another one i think right there no i was wrong um but uh, already triggered the bombs with the kill squad over there. And there is one more bomb remaining, but it does have one more heal remaining. Uh, swag poisons, obviously, didn't need it uh, with the golem being in the CC. But look at that. You know, the golem's kind of slowing down the process. But it just shows how just kind of useless the, the clan castle troops are now. It's very sad. Very, very sad. Heal goes down a few kind of few remaining defenses here. But it is clean up. Like, look at all those hogs. There goes that last bomb. Hogs were under the heel, though. Doesn't matter. Got clean up all over the base. Finally, this goal golem goes down but that golem's been locked on to this golem the whole time so did absolutely nothing really that raid other than maybe stall the queen a little bit for a moment i don't even know if that happened but nice job sean very sexy attack i believe you had a six star war as well uh ch -ch -ch, mouthpiece brings a sexy attack here um so very interesting army comp um five healers gets a really good value out of the queen walk he brings here but what i thought was really cool here look at this three wizards and three minions all getting this free percentage okay but watch what happens <laughs> the wizards and minions end up killing the queen all on their own and i thought that was that was just super cool uh ends up bringing his kill squad in there from that direction anyways uh, but just keep him just just watch here what happens in one sec as soon as this uh drill goes down see the queen take notice boom wizards no notice she hops out got all those wizards standing there minions working on her 
couple more hits and down she goes <laughs> it's just crazy so anyways queen's taken care of but goes ahead opens that wall up anyways gonna go ahead and send in a cold-blooded entry and send his king in to get a big chunk of this base uh queen walk is going great gonna continue walking her all the way down she gets basically from the two o'clock all the way past the six o'clock position uh, without having any super uh crazy adversity uh you can see the rage goes down poison goes down for those cc troops gonna be no problem uh only a level 20 queen as well right so nothing too crazy but uh mp just gets great great value i believe out of out of this queen walk um you can see that cold blood entry has gone down at that 12 o'clock into that tesla hell king goes in the wizards are backing everything up going to basically take out that tesla hell uh sort of a waste of a tesla hell like if i ever try and create a tesla hell it's I have my Teslas in different compartments still. Because if you think, think if he had shifted this around and along this backside, there was the four Teslas in those four different compartments. Well, that king's going to get roasted before any of that goes down. Because um, you see he stalls up on these walls here. And it, it really with those hogs coming in, it helps out a lot. But the, this whole, all of this would be dead because those Teslas would still be working on that stuff. Those hogs wouldn't have even had a chance to get in there. So, um MK, something to think about, buddy. Uh, I wouldn't be putting all four of my Teslas in the same compartment, but um, what are you going to do? <laughs> Town all night. <laughs> so hard to defend. Uh, poison goes down, takes care of the Skellies. Really, there's only a few defenses for these Hogs to take care of. Heal goes down to heal everything under that Expo. Wizard Tower goes down. Do, uh, see this Queen Walk still getting work. Finally used the ability to kind of take that Expo off of her. Uh, hogs move in under that heal. They're going to finish off that Expo. Boom, Bomb goes off, doesn't matter. They're standing under the heal. Expo goes down. Cannon goes down via the Queen. Looking sexy at this point. Nice attack, MP. Very creative. Beauty. <clears throat> All right. Another one. Nightmare. Always loves watching Nightmare's attacks. We're very... I, I look up to Nightmare because Nightmare is very proficient with these Valkyries and um, I really try and use Valkyries in a lot of my attacks. I just find them very powerful, very kind of versatile uh, and a safe unit to use, um, especially on first hits. But see what Nightmare does here. Brings a little bit of a queen walk. Uh, see how easily that queen gets low. You have to be very, very careful on your queen walks, guys. Now, it, I just cannot stress that more. She can go she can go down like a sack of potatoes in no time. But uh, Nightmare is just going to continue this walk kind of down into the 6 o'clock area. Ends up getting the queen down to about 6. And then goes ahead and sends in his uh, cold-blooded entry with those 8 Valks. Um, gets a really good value because now like so much cleanup is done and with this extra 30 seconds you get at town hall nine your queen walks can take substantially longer like there used to be kind of a unset rule of you know after about 45 seconds into the attack you kind of had to start the other prong of your attack no matter where your queen was um even maybe at like a minute max and now you have all the time in the world like look at this poison goes down for that dragon she doesn't even need to use the ability. There's not even there was a one healer on her. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so nice test wall breaker, right? That uh, that bomb would have uh, posed some problems, but uh, test goes in. Wall opens up. Oh, maybe it wouldn't have because he only dropped the three. Uh, but no big deal. Wall, uh, holes open. Does have to pop the queen ability here because that Tesla did lock onto her. But it's no big deal because that golem's gonna go in. The Valks kind of a couple of them take a hike here with the king. <laughs> Which, uh, that little hole in the wall, I know it screwed us up on a previous attack as well. Um, caused a couple of those Valks and the King uh, specifically. So uh, what I liked here, uh, again, I, I believe a while ago I showed an attack of Nightmares where nothing went to plan, but he just kept his composure, kind of adjusted the attack slightly and, and accordingly to what he needed to do and, and came through with the three-star. That's kind of the same thing here. He ended up dropping those hogs there to make sure his King was protected because his King's going to go for a hike. Um, but the fact that six of his Valks went in here through that double jump ended up taking out the Queen anyway. So still got the same result, even though his King and a couple of the Valks walked he still got pushed into that queen chamber and took her down that was the key and hogs just start flooding in there's only a handful of defenses remaining so really really nice composure nightmare you stuck this one out came through with the three star again because really there is the air defense and tesla and it's cleanup but the nice part too is the cleanup was already done um those defenses went down almost at the same time as the remaining trash building so sexy job nightmare always love watching your attacks uh scotty boy click clack that's right click 
Claxton, another one of our best uh, attackers at Town Hall 9, in my opinion. Uh, really, really comes through uh, for us when we need it on the cleanup. So goes ahead and starts a funnel. Uh, drops a couple minions there to kind of start this queen walk. Drops the healers down on that queen. It's going to start walking this queen kind of down towards the 6 o'clock location. Just going to take a little bit of a little bit of time here, but notice how that army camp really, really takes a piece of her vision away. So he's going to charge her down and into this town hall chamber. Um, and he's going to get really good value. He's going to pull the CC troops out. He's going to end up getting that air defense. He's going to end up even getting that expo in the very end, I believe. Um, just gets great, great value. So drops that wizard to take out, start taking out these trash buildings to make sure this queen goes for walk into the compartment and not out and around. Uh, so looking good. Cold-blooded entry goes in at the kind of 1 o'clock position. A few wizards go down, create that funnel. He's going to jump it and then drop the king right in behind and make sure he goes in and takes out that queen. See him lock on in one moment. Still getting great value out of that Archer Queen walk down there. Charge, I guess, um, down there. The Lava Hound does come out, which stalls her for a substantial amount of time. But with the healers on her and only having the one Expo targeting her, it's kind of perfect timing for that. Because she's going to stall out on that, take out the Lava Hound. And then once the Loons and Lava Hounds kind of come into her section, she, that's when she finishes things up and steps up to help that out. So worked out perfectly. Haste go down. The Lava Hounds are down on that air defense. It's now uh, loons kind of coming in at each angle. The rage goes down right over top of that air D. It's going to force everything through that sweeper. Down goes the sweeper. Down goes the air defense. Everything's going to move to these last two sections. As you can see, that exactly what I just said. Uh, Lava Hound's now down. Uh, Queen's taking care of it. Going to work on that town hall and then step up and help out on that expo. He hits the ability to kind of force through. She steps up, starts working on that expo, and you think he even takes down that wizard tower for them. So there isn't a nice part about this too, or not the nice part, but uh, an interesting part was there's not a lot of cleanup. Look, there's only the one balloon left. If that queen had died or anything and not taken out that whiz tower, this would not have been a three star. There's literally one balloon remaining, maybe one, two, three, four lava pups around the base and the queen. So, <laughs> and an archer, my bad. Uh, so this one might have been real close on time, uh, but nonetheless was a three star. Nice job, click clack. Yeah, this one definitely, definitely must have been close on time. Absolutely. KK with the tree. All right. I'm not a huge fan of showing my attacks, but um, I had a six star war this this war. Actually, I was very happy with it. Lost that replay. That was a very sloppy attack on my part, but came through nonetheless. Um, I wanted to show this one because I thought it was kind of an interesting um, plan. Uh, I usually would not split up Valks like I did here, but uh, see, I just kind of dropped the four hogs, take down that arch tower. I wanted to get the lure. I had no idea these were. This was a first hit. Um, so if they were poisonable troops, I wanted to be ready for that. If it was a hound or a golem, I was just going to commence my attack from that point, uh, which I go ahead and do. I had brought the archer just to yank it over no matter what it was. Uh, see, I dropped both golems on this one mortar. What I liked about that is I really can still create my funnel. Drop two wizards to make sure that elixir storage goes down very, very quickly. Um, drop the queen to kind of help this side out because I knew those golems were going to walk over to that cannon. What I did not want is them to walk further over to that archer tower. So the jump goes down instantly. I dropped the Valks in two Valks with my king. Only two Valks. I keep six in the bag for a later portion. Valks go in. King go it go, eh, goes in. Takes down that queen like nothing. They're gonna just stand in there and kind of do some work. And you'll see they get pretty large value. Like a big chunk of this base goes down. Golems are kind of lagging in behind. Uh, the lava hound finally bursts in the back, but the queen steps up to help take out the pups uh, just in time. Uh, oops, sorry. So I sent in uh, hogs at this point because I wanted to make sure that queen was protected and got a heal down because I was pretty confident there was at least one bomb in there. Uh, there was. The hogs jump in and start helping out with this Tesla farm, which is nice. The golems are tanking. I've sent in hogs now from the six o'clock. And notice this part up here. I dropped the jump spell here. I dropped Valks here because I knew I wanted, knew there was a bomb there. I thought it was actually a DGB there, um, but it turns out there are two singles. And the Valks take him out anyway. So it was kind of really, really good placement um, on those Valks, I thought, because they get really good value. They end up helping with cleanup. Those hogs don't have to worry about either of those bombs because those compartments are taken care of. Tesla and Cannon are the only remaining defenses here. A couple hogs jump in to finish off the job on that Cannon. That is your three. 
See these Valks down here helping the Wiz do cleanup? Just kind of really protected them. Tree Stars. So, really fun war. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to being part of this DWA and, and seeing what kind of ma scrims and matchups we can now uh, qualify for. Um, not 100% how everything works with it. That was obviously more handled by, by our leadership. So, um, But uh, we will be discussing, I'm going to be doing a video because yes, yes, I've been getting a lot of messages. Um, 2.0 and 1.0s uh, have split ties. Um, for various reasons, and uh, I'm going to be getting together with Chief Kev um, and Nemo and Dewerk Son together in a video, and we're going to talk about uh, kind of what happened and uh, a little bit of the reasoning and what our direction is as uh, One Hive 2.0 uh, and what our chain of uh, clans. Um, sorry, uh, I'm trying to think of the words here. Uh, what are what are other uh, clans in our chain i guess uh our, our their focuses are and what they mean to 2.0 uh and how we're going to move forward with the update so um you know uh, the 2.0 family chain is one hive 2.0 one hive invicta and one hive swarm uh so those three clans we will be discussing uh specifically and uh talking about just uh, like i said like the future the future of our chain of clans and what the update means to us and how we're going to prepare for it so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the recap i know this was a really lengthy one um it is christmas eve and it's gonna be a busy couple days i have a surprise uh not a range matchup but uh, you guys will see coming up uh, i believe it is a hundred percent go i just don't want to ruin anything yet so uh stay tuned got some really good content coming through the christmas holidays uh i will probably not be seeing uh, doing any videos until after christmas so i just want to say merry christmas to all my viewers and uh yeah you know keep rocking those three stars that does it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you guys bag that next three star until then i'm out